wants to cloud gaze with me? Are we friends? Absolutely not. We've all been there. You are playing The Sims, having a good time. You get up, get a snack, maybe forget about your game, and your Sims are left unattended. You return to find that all chaos has broken loose. Today, we are once again searching for that chaos and tempting fate by leaving my Sims overnight untouched and unpaused to see what they get up to. But this time, I'm putting every lot challenge on. Can my Sims survive? Probably not. To be honest, my guess is no. So without further ado, let's meet our lucky contestants. To start, we have the lovely Kelsey in PGK. None of these Sims were created by me. I just want to put that out there to begin with. And then we have James Turner. I believe original person who started the whole every lot challenge turned on trend. Couldn't do without him. What's up, James? Next up, we got Deli or Deligracy. Just had to put Deli in. I also made Deli and James fiancés huh? just because I wanted them to be already in a relationship and that was the easiest way to do it. So congratulations, you two, in my game. Next up we've got Keith Habersberger of the Try Guys. I just felt like he would have a good time. I just felt like he needed to be in here. And also we have Sasha Vixella in the house as well. Pretty much I just chose other content creators that I had somewhat of a relationship with and I put them all in the house. We also have Yamachan for chaotic reasons. Last but not least we have the real Dr. Gluon. Dr. Gluon, I wish I had a fez for him. He's a content creator on Twitch and on uh, YouTube. So yeah, if you're interested in any of these people, I'll put their channel links below. If you're interested in seeing the other mischief I came up with leaving my Sims overnight, I will put links to those below as well. So these are our cast of characters. Hopefully we all get along. I'm going to be putting us into a house together that I will be downloading from the gallery. So here is our build and let's go over all of the lot challenges we will be putting on here. So we have creepy crawlies, cursed, a lot of things seem to go wrong, filthy, gremlins, grody, off the grid, which is gonna be probably one of the harder things for my Sims to overcome. Quake zone, reduce, and recycle simple living, the second hardest thing for them to do. Spooky, volcanic activity, and wild foxes. So to help combat the off the grid and simple living, because I think my sims would just straight up die immediately, I'm going to be adding wind turbines and like a rain collector. And I also will be adding a little garden and a like cooler. So hopefully they'll be able to eat and like function enough, but it still will be a bit of a struggle for them. I will say I just placed the sims down and we already got a notification that Sasha Vixella just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring at Keith Habersberger. Oh my gosh. Also, just for kicks, we're gonna add a couple different lot traits. We're gonna be adding the vampire nexus lot traits so vampires show up a lot more. And we'll also be adding the mean vibe so that my sims fight more and we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to just uh, click play here and let my Sims kind of go for it while I build the rest of the little additional things. And we will check back in tomorrow and see what chaos and mischief occurred. Good morning! Yes, I am wearing the same outfit. Did I just wear the same outfit two days in a row? Or did I actually film these things back to back? Who knows? We did leave my Sims overnight. I think it was over 12 hours that they've been chilling by themselves. I left them in spring. It is now winter. Almost been a year in Sims time. Let's see what all has occurred here. Oh my gosh, it looks like our water collector has been fried somehow. That's no longer functioning. I also failed to mention earlier that I did also make this a haunted house just to keep adding more issues. Oh wow, Knox Greenberg's here. He came to visit apparently. Gnomes have arrived. Maybe they came for the holiday. Oh my gosh, there's a urn. Whose urn is this? Oh, there's an urn up here. All right, let's 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 start from the top. Everything seems to be functioning. No uh, great catastrophes on the upper floor. So in here, oh my gosh, we got a lot of creepy dolls and things. Looks like the shower does not work because they are off the grid. Okay, fire occurred in here as well. Looks like maybe no children have been here. I'm pretty miserable as expected, to be honest. So still alive is Yamachan, Sasha, Deli, and me. Only the women survived. I'm not mad about that. So who all died in here? It looks like Keith Habersberger died in the bedroom. There's a 
mess right here. Did we have a kid at some point? Was there a child? Because normally children are the only ones that make these kinds of messes. Next floor down, we have this room, looks fine. And the bathroom, looks like there was another fire at some point. We have our sound cloud painting. I don't know if anything happened with that. And then downstairs, it seems like we have more soul scraps. It looks like there was a fire at one point that pretty much ate up the whole living room. That's unfortunate. And then over here, who's this James Turner died over here by our cooler. Dr. Gluon, what happened to you? It kind of looks like all of our plants were never harvested. So cool. Very good job, everyone. Sydney? Wait, who's Sydney Keola? And why is Sydney Keola dead on our lot here? Okay, interesting, interesting. Then where is Dr. Gluon? Did he die? Where is he? I have no idea what happened to Dr. Gluon or where his body may be. Did he die off the lot? I have no idea. Dr. Gluon has disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Now let's look at their relationships. Let's see, I can't believe freaking Yamach. I'm sorry. Yamachan wants to hug someone. Woohoo in a bush wants to cloud gaze with me. Are we friends? Absolutely not. Yamachan is the highest friends with, I think, Vixella. Apparently, Gudri's become a friend of ours. And yeah, Yamachan is kind of friends with everyone. How's Sasha? It looks like Sasha is the best friends with Yamachan. Not very good friends with the rest of us. Not very good friends with Keith, and no romance happened between Vixella and Keith. Bummer. Deli is terrified. It's best friends with me and Gudri. Love that. Oh, it's still romantic with James. Very nice, but not not a ton. Not a ton. Here's me. I'm friends with Deli, Yamachan, and Vixella Lee. That's interesting because it seems like Vixella likes me more than- No, me and Vixella aren't that close. Me and Deli and Yamachan are close. I can't believe. Gideon, apparently, and I are friends. I am not friends with Ruffy. Apparently, me and the stuffed animal down here have beef, which I think is very funny that me and this stuffed animal have beef. Oh, wow. How did this get over here? This doll up, up in the fireplace. Okay. Spooky. No one seems to know this Sim that died on our lot, Sydney. I don't think anyone knew Sydney. So that's a little creepy and concerning. So we've gotten through all the relationships. Now it's time to go through the notifications. So let's go back in time and see the furthest we can go. So we can only go up to eight hours. So this is the first couple hours of what happened, but apparently our off the grid household was generating a power surplus. So that's really good. We ended up giving our Sims enough power to actually power the house. It was Yamachan's birthday. It was Sasha's birthday. Oh, a swarm of Vs descended upon me. Without a Guzmania, Paulinus flower to distract them. Kelsey tries to think of a logical way to outsmart them, but may just be at their mercy. <gasps> Not the bees! Thinking of bees, I can only think of Bridgerton now. And there was no Anthony Bridgerton to save me from my bee sting. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, James Turner had a nightmare. So he was still alive eight hours ago. Good to know, good to know. I wonder who's the first to die. All right, we have the whole gang here. Keith's turning on fireplace, having a nice, you know, oh my gosh, and Keith is on fire. Repeat, Keith is on fire. Oh no, everyone came down to try to help him out though. And I'm a dog lover. Look at me. I was really proud. I actually put the fire out for Keith. So you're welcome, everyone. Don't want to brag, but I am a hero. Oh my God. Sasha's on fire. Sasha's on fire in the room. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. James has come on the scene quick. James is there first. This is scary. Poor Sasha. But everyone luckily is putting out the fire. Me and James has saved the day. Who's dying first? <gasps> it's Dr. Glue. Luan died first? Oh, he died like right on the staircase. Is that why we don't see his urn? That's so sad. I wonder why he died. Oh, it looks like Grim is in the other room, like being stressed by some rats. Yamachan found the body. I did put a Patchy down to help with the garden and it looks like Patchy was never around. Interesting. Actually, Yamachan and two ghosts are mourning Dr. Gluon's death. The rest of us are all sleeping. All of us are sleeping. It's just ghosts mourning him. And Yamachan, that's kind of sad. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That was, that was so scary. Absolute utter chaos in this house. <laughs> Look at Keith just walking in the sunglasses. We have a meteor strike next to our mailbox. Aw, it looks like James and Deli are having a good conversation by some rats. Ooh, a fox is stalking around your home. Hide your hens, hide your eggs. Well, we didn't have hens or eggs, so I guess it was fine. But interesting that foxes were stalking us. I guess that's one of the challenges. Yamachan got attacked by plasma bats. Good for you, bats. Get him, get Yamachan. <laughs> Oh, a fire. Okay, James discovered the fire. I'm assuming James might have lit the fire and then James died. James died in the kitchen. So maybe James died from the fire. Oh. Yamachan reached mischief level two. Somehow I'm not surprised. 
Kelsey unlocked the junk food fiend lifestyle. I have a feeling the only way that we actually survived and ate anything was by grabbing like quick meals, like cereal and granola from this. So yeah, I'm not surprised that we only had junk food, to be honest. Oh, James Turner became acquaintances with Gideon the Fox. That's sweet. I like that when left to their own devices, they all became friends with the fox. Oh, it's the fox that just became friends with James. That's cute. Oh, another fire happened and Sydney discovered the fire. Wait, did Sydney join our household at one point? Who is Sydney? And why do none of us know Sydney? Sasha got attacked by spiders. I don't know if Sasha hates spiders or not. I feel a little bad subjecting Sasha to this. No spider repellent with itch reach. She might have to deal with some creeping and crawling and maybe a little biting. Ugh. Maybe she'll turn into a superhero from her bites. Dare to dream. Super Sasha. Keith died fast? Keith must have died pretty quick. Just gave up. He was like, I don't want to do with this house, Kelsey. I'm out. I don't blame him. Oh, Keith seems panicked. Where did Keith go? Oh, Keith is on fire. How did he get put on fire? Oh my gosh. He's on fire in the baby room. Sasha and I were there to save the day. So that's, oh no, it was me. I'm back there. Oh, who's next to us? Is that Deli? Oh my gosh. The chaos. Wait, <gasps> am I pregnant? That's me. That's me with a baby belly. I'm sorry, I'm pregnant? Who died? <gasps> it's Keith. Keith died in the bedroom. And look at that. All of the bathrooms are broken. Did someone go? and fix them because they're all broken right now. I'm pregnant. I cannot. I cannot. Oh my God. Ew, 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 ew. No, 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 no. I must have gotten abducted. Oh my gosh, you can see me through the window. I'm being abducted. <gasps> oh my gosh, Keith got abducted too? <gasps> Why didn't Keith have the baby? Why did it have to be me that had the baby? Oh my God, I'm giving birth. I hate it. I hate it. Apparently the chat named it baby nova flame fox dangerous <laughs> looks like james is freaking out for me that's sweet of james to care about my alien child yeah i had a baby of course i did even as myself i cannot avoid this baby challenge the normal day yamatron panicking me smelling myself you know the usual oh that lightning strike scared the bejeebus out of me oh look oh my baby aged up i want to see their baby oh there it is just popped out of there like a little piece of popcorn. This house is just, it's so funny seeing all of the evil spirits just everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Wait, Grim is taking out our trash. We became so good friends with Grim that he even started cleaning up the house for us. Oh my gosh, he's actually mopping. This is hilarious. Our house is really that tragic that the NPCs started cleaning it for us. And then I pass out outside. That sounds about right. Look at me actually taking care of my child, feeding my child in the little seat taking my child up the stairs i'm a good mom oh okay i'm bathing the child even though the tub is broken you know sometimes you gotta make do with what you got and apparently i am doing so at this point there are no men in the house it seems it's just us nope james is there he's just peeing in the woohoo bush oh and yamachan's still there Ugh. Yamachan. Yamachan looked so awkward getting out of that bunk bed. I'm not gonna lie, I hated it. How come no one had a relationship with this toddler? The toddler just disappeared? Oh my God, and the toddler just disappeared. <laughs> the aliens took the toddler back. They were like, uh-uh, mine. Ooh, Yamachan woke up in a cold sweat from having a nightmare. Good. Anything that bad happens to Yamachan, I'm happy about. I don't want Yamachan having a good life in this house. Yamachan's just standing outside in the cold. Oh, and it was like, oh no, it's cold. Good job, Yamachan. Good job. Why couldn't Yamachan just stay outside and freeze to death? There's me upstairs, chilling. Looks like uh, with my baby. Oh my gosh, is Yamachan chasing me? Get out, Yamachan. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yamachan knows too much about me and my feelings about Yamachan. Oh, it looks like we all left outside. Oh wait, that's that stranger that's on fire next to Patchy. No, not Patchy. Look at all those trash plants. I love that they're all panicking about the fire and doing nothing to help at all because this is a stranger. Like they put out all the fires for everybody else, but not this person. They just let them burn. No wonder the alien came and took my baby away, you know? And they're dead. Wow. Oh, a fire started randomly at the dining table and Yamachan got caught on fire. And yet Yamachan survived again. 
Absolutely ridiculous. Kind of sad I didn't get to see Yama Chan's death. Can't have it all, I guess. <gasps> James Turner died from a cardiac explosion. Oh my gosh, his heart just up and gave up. It was like, I can't. Did something scare him? I'm assuming maybe he, he died of fright of being in a haunted house. Poor James. Oh no, James dies. Where is James? Oh, he's right behind that wall back there by Yamachan. Oh no, poor James. Yamachan didn't even turn around. Yamachan just continuing to have a conversation while James dies behind them. Absolutely cold hearted Yamachan. Aw, Sasha had a nightmare too. It seems like nightmares and plasma bats are the most frequent issues for us. Oh, interesting. We kept like turning on and off the power. Like sometimes we used up all of our power and sometimes we had a surplus. And our winter festival were awful. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, it looks like Father Winter visited us and looks miserable, honestly. Poor Father Winter. Is he okay? Ooh, this person's really dressed up for winter. And we have a bunch of gnomes visiting. Apparently, they went from room to room, our garden gnomes, during Harvest Fest, so that's nice. He's not even doing anything. No wonder it was a terrible Christmas. Oh, and then there was another fire, and Deli discovered it. Oh, Poor Deli. I had a nightmare. Sasha attacked by spiders again. Clearly she didn't get superpowers from the first one because otherwise I feel like they would have been her brethren at this point. So still attacking her. That's so good. A third time Sasha got guy attacked by spiders a third time. I feel like no one else has been attacked by spiders besides Sasha. Maybe if anything, the spiders have something out for her. Deli had a nightmare of being stuck in a ladderless pool. Poor Deli. I would not want that nightmare. That actually sounds terrifying. Yamachan had a nightmare about buying a strange clown painting from a yard sale and then there was a knock at the door. That's funny because we actually did buy that clown painting and put it in the house, but I have a feeling Yamachan didn't go up to it, unfortunately. Oh, Sasha had a nightmare about a dog with limbs that stretched like a human. It was a horrible, horrible sight. That is so funny because that's a glitch in the sims. I've never read all of the nightmare descriptions before. Yamachan had a recurring nightmare about taking a test in the nude. That is a classic one. Oh my God. What would Yamachan look like in the nude? Would it be a person or would it be still Yamachan, but a nude Yamachan? Like does Yamachan's skin come off? Is Yamachan wearing an outfit? I know Yamachan's technically like a person inside of a suit probably, but in my brain, Yamachan just bursts forth as the fully formed Yamachan and is not a suit, so. It's a very startling image to try to imagine Yamachan naked. Thing I, I never wanted to do and never want to do again. Sasha had a strange dream in which a round yellow specter with glasses proposed marriage. What a nightmare. Sasha isn't sure how to feel about it. Aw. Wait, a round yellow specter with glasses. Was it Keith? Not saying he's round, but he definitely wears glasses. I hope so. Okay, Sasha had another nightmare. It says they were a contestant on a reality TV show being criticized by a demanding judge with a nice mustache. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny because that is a reference to the Sims Spark to that I was on. I was also a judge. And one of the Sim Gurus, Sim Guru Ninja, was the judge with the mustache, and he was like really harsh. <laughs> That's so cool that like a thing that I was a part of is a reference in the game. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, and then Nox came by to help us clean up apparently with our trash. He was making fun of us. Okay, Yamachan is climbing into the woohoo bush. Oh my gosh, a ghost is just watching. Yamachan use the toilet. How rude. Gross. That was awkward. That was really awkward. Oh, look, it looks like the ghosts were taking care of our garden. That's nice. Good job, ghosts. That oh, oh. Oh, and a vampire just ran around. Did not stop to say hi though. Just running by. <gasps> Vlad's here. Oh, and another vampire. It seems like all the vampires do love visiting us, but they never come inside. Wow, yeah. This looks like a pretty miserable existence, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's all I could glean from the notifications. It seems like I was able to keep them alive long enough with like all of those things on because of what I additionally gave my sim. But I think without that cooler and without the wind turbines, they probably would have been dead. 100%. But I think the thing that killed most of them that was kind of a surprise to me was the haunted house aspect. And I think the random fires occurring was what killed a lot of the other Sims. So that was really interesting to see like if they were all left to their own devices, which of the lot challenges would be most likely to kill my Sims. And it seems like it was those things and not just the fact that everything broke in the house. But uh, if you enjoyed this one, let me know in the comments below what videos are you wanting to see in the future. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye. One of these days, I'm just gonna have Yamachan die a very cruel and painful death, and I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh the whole time. I'm gonna laugh the whole time. <laughs>